If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay, I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? How dare you! Shut up, woman! Oh! Leave her alone! Ah. Now, what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you! Fool. But I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Gentlemen. Yes. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. Nose in 
What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. This is our turf, and you're no friend of ours. The British? Stay out of our business. Make this difficult for yourselves. Clear shot. We own this town, boy. He's over there. We have to get to him. Get him, boys. What are you waiting for? Kill him. What are you waiting for? Kill him.
If only he could stand still for a second! Don't make this difficult for yourselves. These guns to fire! Assist me in my retreat! Your world has suffered from a lack of consciousness. My consciousness. The machine-human interface blurs to gray, little by little, with every passing moment. The fracture in Helix has gifted you my eternal presence.
will help with smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son. like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. He shared a dream. That of me. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. called the Bulldog by his loyal men. General Braddock was the victim of a cowardly ambush. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. The Colonel strikes me as an honorable man. Someone who wants to do what's right. And he may have a point. With everything that has happened. With what I've done. I can't change the past. But maybe there's a future for me here. And maybe, just maybe, I can do what's right this time. I should head back to the Finnegans. Let them know I'm fine. Morgan Thomas has been found guilty of buggery with a cow, a sheep, a turkey and a mayor. For his crimes against God, Morgan Thomas is to be hanged at dawn. The animals will be executed according to the law. Leviticus 2015. And their remains destroyed, as no use shall be made of any part of them. His Royal Majesty King George encourages his subjects to consider settlement in the Bahamas. If you are looking for a warmer climate, and do not shirk hard work. The Bahamas may be the opportunity for you. His Majesty also wishes to remind his subjects that reports of piracy and Spanish attacks in the Bahamas are greatly exaggerated. 
His Majesty King George pledges his support to the brave colonies fighting against the French and their native allies. Although the French have achieved several victories in a row, the inherent superiority of the British will find a way to prevail. All able-bodied men are encouraged to join the war effort and serve their king. The Grand Prix coffee produces hives about the face and causes fit men to walk with a limp. Avoid the primitive muck water. Drink fine East India tea, the elixir of gentlemen. Show your preference for proper English diet and reject decadent French cookery. The Grand Prix coffee produces hives about the face and causes fit men to walk with a limp. Avoid the primitive muck water. Drink fine East India tea, the elixir of gentlemen. Show your preference. Shay, Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. hanging a man in the old fort. Oh, it would be a shame to miss that. <laughs> Here. <laughs> 
These ruffians are part of the same gang who made trouble for the Finnegans. Christopher Guest, I'm Shay Cormack. But what are you doing here? Don't mind me asking. The Colonel sent me. Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own dead. But I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan. What is Shay doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of the...